guys welcome back to minecraft where we have made some progress since the last part if you haven't seen the last part which is about a fresh start go ahead and check that out it's not that long of a video and it's just me getting started now since then we have made some progress on our house so i'm going to give you a little bit of a tour and we're going to get into doing some stuff now if you haven't already noticed uh, we've also got a shader installed we've got a shader uh, it's sildur's shader and i tweaked the settings until i liked it it was too vibrant at the start so i tweaked the lighting settings um so yeah i like how it is now you can see the the lights and out there everything it's great it's great uh and it's just really nice. Now you can also see I've tweaked up our house a little bit. It's still pretty basic, but I got some windows in. I've got those trees out there growing, the torches, and it looks great with the lighting. It's currently the night. Sun will be rising soon. We've got a little bit of a roof. The wall is still a mess. I, I didn't get to that. The wall's still a mess, but it's fine. Uh, also, that big tree I wanted to turn into a tower, I did some little starts to it which we might get to later now in this particular video as i stand on my roof what i want to do is get into farming and some animal husbandry so i have a ton of wood for fences and i want to run water down these hills and have a sort of water crops staircase right sort of thing going right i want to do that so it's not not just that clean rectangle field right i want to do something slightly different oh so we are kind of starving so let's eat some wonderful okay so i'm not sure if it's safe to go out yet so let's just do some crafting what i'm going to need is a bucket now if i recall oh we will also need some shears is it just that oh that was accidental great we're gonna need some shears um a bucket great and also i have some leather so i kind of want to just use up this leather to create some armor i think that is a leather tunic great how do we there we go let's wear the leather tunic we're still very default skin here haven't done anything special but okay so now moving out i'm just gonna grab some water does that affect anything no okay is this water infinite like if you just keep bring buckets here would that water feet be infinite i should make iron armor i'm a little low so i don't want to do that uh besides oh right i've also decorated a little bit i put a little staircase here there's the sun rising let's have a quick look ah oh, look i like the shader i like the shader with the default textures it's just so nice oh. i tried a bunch of texture packs i don't i don't really like it all right, the sun's up. Monsters should be dying. Let's try not get anything killed. So over here, this hill here, I want to get some farming going. So I just want to have like little lines of water flowing down. I'm just so scared a creeper is going to show up. I think we're okay. We'll, we'll capture all these animals later. Okay, so... There's a little pool there, so I think I'll just start at the top of the hill right here. And let's say... The water is placed here, and it starts flowing. Now, how far does water flow before it needs to go down a level? Uh, oh, it goes pretty far. Okay, so I just need... Do I have a shovel? It's fine. I didn't make a shovel. So I just need to dig this so that it's actually a little bit of a groove. By the way, is the game lagging for you guys? Uh, let's check the frame rate. Oh, there's a... I just dug into a hole. Uh, the frame rate is dropping, so what I'm just going to do... Let's go to video settings. Just drop the distant chunks down to 16. That should help. I don't have the most powerful PC. Is that correct? Yeah, so the water should flow here. Okay, okay. Anchor, thank you so much. 
which shader am I using? It's Sildur's, but I tweaked the settings. It's not the default settings. So this is going to be... I probably only have to do like one row to start, right? So let's get the water. And once I do one, you'll get the idea of what I'm trying to do. So I could actually bring this back a little bit, right? Because the range is pretty far. What's the max? Does this reach the edge? It does. Let's try go a bit further back. Ah, so that is the limit. Uh, dirt, water. So I haven't done farming ever, <laughs> I think. Uh, so I'm just going to try guess based on what I know. So here's our first irrigation ditch, right? Uh, I have not actually crafted a hoe, so let's go do that. Oh, isn't that a nice view? Okay. Okay, so what did I need to make? Uh, let's just do a wooden one first. How do... What is it again? No, that's an axe. That's... Wooden hoe. That steel axe is almost gone. I chopped down so many trees. Okay. So along the water... Tell me if I'm doing this wrong. Along this water... I'm going to... This is actually going to be quite a lot of crops. Is that correct? Is this accurate? So if I just have... Oh, the sound of water is so good, isn't it? <laughs> so if I do this, this should be correct. So I'm not sure if the irrigation actually works correctly. I see that tile there got a bit darker. But I'm not sure if it's actually affecting all the tiles correctly. Despite it being adjacent. But doing this should tell me what's working and what's not working. Okay. Oh, there's a tree here, okay. Oh, I crafted a really crappy one. <laughs> right. Do I even have any cobblestone? I spent some time... I do. Just sort of collecting resources so you didn't have to watch me do that uh, midday the sun so basically by default the sun the everything was too colorful right everything was way too colorful so i dropped to the saturation and the lighting adjusted the colors a little bit because i don't like it when things are too vibrant okay so this seems to be working I have a whole bunch of wheat seeds here. So if I just... plant these... This should work? as intended. We can hunt for more seeds. Is there any quick way to get seeds? I suppose... the results of farming, right? Well, this is pretty quick. We got 13. <laughs> Does grass grow back?
Okay, we got another 20. Grass and farming. I can use bone meal. Well, I don't have much of that. So let's just... I'm not sure if this tile is going to irrigate. Some of these, it seems like the water's not quite reaching. So where it doesn't grow, I'll just have to make adjustments as we go. By the way, the music continues to play because I'm playing C418's music in the background because I enjoy the music and I wanted it to keep going. And I know some people don't like that, but I like that. If the water doesn't touch the land, yeah, so I'm not sure what counts as touching. Yeah, I think one row... I didn't expect the the row to be able to go so long, so... We probably only have to do one row for now. Then we could have a different row for different crops. That makes sense, right? Fourteen. Sixteen. Okay. I could probably just, if any of these tiles don't get irrigated, I could probably just build a bridge over that part. It's so like there is not being irrigated. This is so much. We gotta finish it. We gotta finish it. Stick torches on the non-hydrated -hyd blocks. Well, I kind of want to... have them all hydrated. It's almost the end of the day. Okay, that should be enough. I want to get all the plants down, then we'll just sleep till morning. I can't tell if this grass is growing back. You can walk on crops, right? You just can't... Really? You just can't jump? Okay. Oh, no. I keep thinking I have enough. And then I don't. Isn't that a thing of Minecraft? This should be enough, and it's just not enough. It's gonna be nighttime, yeah. Don't jump or fall, walking is okay. Okay. So that. Ah, oh, it already looks amazing. <laughs> now, the irrigation range is more than one tile. I think all the tiles actually got irrigated. So I think it counts. Let's just get to the next day first, though. This is turning into Stardew Valley. This was Stardew Valley before Stardew Valley was a thing. Four blocks. Okay. It's a new day. And I think this is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. And yeah, everything's irrigated. It's perfect. So, I'm not sure whether I should bother going multiple tiles away, because this is this is already quite a lot of wheat. Range is four tiles, right? It's quite a lot of wheat. What's the reach? I mean, more than two, reaching for it is a little uncomfortable. Because what I want is I wanted to use... I wanted to use oak logs. That's 48. You can make another row. 
Okay, I think I'll plan to have two rows. And then, I know it's less efficient, but it will be more aesthetically pleasing. And then I'm gonna have a walkway. Made out of oak, like this. I really should craft a shovel. <laughs> I'm so happy the, the water actually reaches. So wait, this is going to be so like this, like this. Okay. And almost at the top. And I'll be going around here. Like this. So this will be our walkway along our crops. Okay, then we just need to craft some stairs. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six stairs. Six stairs. Uh, so we're gonna need more of these. Okay, let's do that. Stairs are four, eight, so then it'll be easily traversable. We can have how is this gonna work? So this would extend up to here. Just to sort of mark that out. This will eventually go down that way. Suppose we might as well start the process. Oh. So I see some of the crops growing. How long does it usually take to grow wheat? Two, three days? It's variable. Okay. okay. So this is actually going up to here, but blocked. Okay. Keep the oak logs coming. This is going to look so good. And 
then still have a couple stairs. Okay, so it's not completely finished, but what do you think? We could have another whole nother double the wheat, really, from here, but I think that's good. So we could have this whole row for wheat, then have a similar row, like similar rows going along here. As many rows as we want. <laughs> Growth varies based on light. Oh, so those in the shadow actually grow slower? I think we are actually seeing that. Okay, but we need just to finish off this pathway. One, two, three, four. Another four stairs. No problem, we can do that. That's a fake shadow though? Oh. I'm not, how do you tell what's a real shadow, what's a fake shadow? Okay. Okay, so first stage of today's setup is complete. The crops. Now after this, we gotta start working on the animals. Yes, good. I kind of need a bridge over here. How do you build a bridge? I'll need like some oak planks, I think. So like, I would like a bridge going across here. say I start by doing that. This is not pretty. If you hold control, do you not fall off? Okay. It's functional. <laughs> is it shift? Oh, shift. you know if it's working no it's not shift shift is run I think controls might be yeah it's control it's control uh, I think I swapped it I swapped it right oh, I forgot what I did okay so now easier way to get up and down might as well put stairs on that as well It actually went quicker than I thought it would. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Why is this so satisfying? It's so satisfying. Like, I know this bridge is, is nothing to write home about, but it's just... Oh, okay, let's do a little thing. We can make it look a little bit more proper. Are they different on each side? That's two tiles out. That's one tile out. Oh, this actually went one too far? Oh, that's overlapping there, which I suppose kind of makes sense. Let's just break this axe, shall we? Okay. Now it is night time. Okay, it broke. It 
Hardrook. Dirt. Okay. We're going home. To the next morning. Okay. Two days pass. I'll go to sleep with my block of dirt. Okay, so we have a little bridge. Ooh. There's some skeletons. Sun's not burning them yet. Okay, so that's gonna be our first crops thing. So the wheat is coming through. I'm not entirely sure what it looks like when it's ripe. There is also this little ravine cavern thing, but this is... Yeah, it's perfect. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. Now just imagine rows and rows along this hill, right? I just didn't want it to be clean rectangles. I wanted it to be something different. And I think this is pretty cool. I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Now for animals, there is some flat land here. Now for animals, I think it makes a bit more sense to use the flat land. But I kind of want to build around this watering hole in a way that sort of makes sense. Uh, I do have 15 eggs, so we should be able to get that started pretty quickly. But we need fences first. Let's go make a whole bunch of fences. I chopped down a lot of spruce trees. Right, it looks good with the, the shaders, right? Okay, fences. Um, so what I actually need I'm not using birch planks anymore, so I'm going to use these for sticks. We're probably going to need quite a few. Fences are... I can't... I think it's... Like this? No. Is it the other way? Hold on. Fence. What is a fence again? Block, block, stick, stick. Can you not use spruce? Spruce log. Stick. You can't use spruce? Oh wait, they're not planks. They're not planks. Ah, I just realized. Okay. My bad. There we go. Spruce fence. We'll probably need an insane amount. But let's start with 36. And let's build a chicken area. Look, I'm not used to all of this. I kind of want it to just sort of be attached to the wall. I want them to enjoy the water, but obviously it can't be... right up against the water. So we can leave a little bit of water here. Let's get our fence. Do a bit of a diagonal. I know torches can go on fences, but it's okay. And for convenience, I'll build up to here and just close it off for now. I'm not entirely sure how I want to shape all this. I'm just sort of considering convenience. Chickens can't jump that, right? Okay, 
So I gotta make sure I can jump in and out. But they can't. So if I just fill this. Just use a gate. But I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, let's grab the flower. Let's grab that torch. I barely use my own house door. I just jump over the wall. See, this way, I can get in pretty easy. I can get out pretty easy. No clicking required. Torches. Was it just one torch here? I think that's okay. Just in case I'll put that there. Right? And if... I understand. Throwing eggs... The torch in the middle looks a bit weird. How do you throw eggs? Do you just... So yeah, I can't jump out there. But I can jump out here. Do you just right click? Okay. That way the monsters can get into. Oh, right. I need to, like, double up the fence. Okay. We got two. That's all we need, right? So wait, this can... So monsters can walk in from here. So I gotta make sure monsters can't do that. Or at least are... Uh, discouraged from doing that. I'll figure it out later. Now, torches. There, and... Just for a start, I have <laughs> I have some chickens, right? They can't escape this, right? I'm, I'm looking at it correctly. They can't jump up over these. Oh, this actually goes up a bit. Okay. Okay. We have chickens. Oh, because of this, right. Uh, where's my dirt? My monstrosity of a wall. Okay, monsters can't make it through there. They can walk over there. But generally they stay away, unless I attract them over. I just need something functional for now. Ah, they can jump onto the wall from the water? Can the chickens jump up here? Can they make that? From the fence? No, they can't they can't climb up this fence, right? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Check the wheat. Ah yes. Uh, how do we breed chickens? Do we feed them wheat? How do you tell if it's done? Is this done? Can chickens drown? I don't know. Is this done? Yellow. Yeah, but what? Look, that's yellow and that's yellow. 
That's also a little ye yellow, but there's two different yellows. I assume, like, is this yellow enough? Is there another level of yellow? With F3, you can check progress, really? I don't know what I'm looking at. Pale yellow. How, how pale are we talking? Look, I'll just come back tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, the sound of water is great as well. Okay, so we got chickens. We got chickens. We have two. So as long as they don't escape in the night, we can breed chickens. And I think they eat wheat. I think. Also, I got shears, right? Yes. Uh, I wanted to... Hmm. I'll just do it tomorrow. You can use shears on leaves, is what I was reading. Is that correct? Chickens eat seeds. Oh, okay. okay. Any monsters? No? Okay. So I planted a couple trees here. oak leaves because I wanted to do a bit of touch-up on my landscaping doesn't that just look great isn't that just amazing that's so nice because I needed to destroy a couple leaves to get some torches down for example this one so I can now close that back off and it looks great and I also accidentally destroyed a block here because I wanted that there we could use that to make some hedgerows. Chickens, still there? Perfect. I think it works. I think it works. Now, they eat seeds, apparently. They're not grown yet, right? So, is there any reason to feed them now? surprisingly effective they'll grow faster if you feed them okay and that's how the breeding program works as well right how many do they need give them five each I guess oh and they follow so I could try attract some other chickens, if there's any around. Because usually I've been walking up and down these hills. And that's how I've been getting the eggs, because there's just chickens here. There's one. Okay. You, come here. Okay. You sound older, so you come with. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good, good, come on, come on. Okay, okay. There's just one, so that's all we're going to deal with. And you're in. Now we have three chickens. I guess I'll wait for them to grow up a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, to do the other animals, we need to have more fences. So where's our spruce, uh, spruce planks, so I'm gonna need like way more of these. I chopped down so many trees for this. Get a bunch of sticks, yeah, just use that up. Okay, do that. Spruce planks. Bunch of fence, good. 
My inventory is a mess. I'll fix it later. Okay. Um, I should just sort of mark out where I want the rest of my animals to go. So chickens, pigs, cows. Do I want it to go like along the coast? That sort of makes sense. Right? That sort of makes sense. Rather than just clumping them all up here. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to expand building. This watering hole tends to have monsters falling in it. But I guess to start out, we should just do functional things, right? If I were to just... Once I capture some animals, I can then... do things more aesthetically pleasing later on. So let me just... Set a pen for... Animal there. I just want to capture them for now. Holding pens, holding pens. And an easy to capture penitentiary. <laughs> okay, uh, so we've got two areas here. Okay, um, just want this to be easy to drop animals in. So I'm gonna go grab pigs and cows. Now, the wheat attracts cows, right? But it's not the same for pigs, right? I'm gonna find out if this is harvestable. There's a slight flaw with the system. Everything washes down. <laughs> Can I jump up onto things? I did jump accidentally there, okay, it's fine. I got one unit of wheat, which is fine. I suppose that's not so bad. I can just harvest everything. It all washes down the river. And I pick it up at the end. That's actually a very good system. <laughs> okay, so I have one unit of wheat. So I'm going to go find a cow. And I bet these hills that used to be so populated with animals are now barren. They're never here when you want them. Is that a sheep? Okay. That works for me. Okay, good. Conveyor belt. Accidental design success. So I'm gonna grab a sheep. I'm gonna bring you into here. I just need a way out. Let's go hunting. I think I saw a cow just now. But there used to be so many more animals around here. Okay, there's a cow. No problem. I just want to get, like, the ability to continue. Come on, come on. That's right. I learned the basics of auto farming. Is that is that a thing that people do with the water? To have all the resources flow down? 
on the water? That is a thing. Wow. <laughs> I did it by accident. Okay. Cow in here. Got you. Okay. Uh, pigs are not attracted by wheat, I think you guys were saying. Hmm. I don't have any more pens built anyway. I guess this is fine. Oh, let's not have you. I'll just get rid of these. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I think that's a nice... Yeah, I just have them. Uh, I do need another sheep, another cow, to at least start growing our population. Then I can funnel them around into pens that make more sense. We at least have the chickens. Three chickens. Great. And they should start laying eggs as well. I wonder if there's something I can do here to make this a little bit easier for me. If I just do this and just start... A suspended bridge above the animals. I can drop in when I need to. I don't want to mess with gates because I know I'm just going to let them out. <laughs> This way, I can... Oh, eggs. Starting already. And I can still make this jump. Just need to do that. Okay, good. So now I can check out my animals, stay safe from the mobs, come back home. <laughs> Okay, for now, for now. It's functional. Look, the zombies are still spawning there. They're a little close. I'll have to get them away. Oh. In the rays of moonlight. Here comes a zombie. Which can walk in, but it's okay. The sun will kill you in the morning. Okay, I think that's a nice little start to some farming and animal husbandry. I'll do more work off screen before we get into something a bit more proper here because it's going to take a lot of tweaking and messing around. Look, the zombies hanging out with the sheep. I think they'll be the best of friends. <laughs> we also need to get a carrot or a potato, apparently, uh, for the pigs. But for now, look at my house. Isn't it amazing? It's so nice. It's so nice using all my design aesthetics to try and make things look pretty. I'll fix this wall eventually as well uh, at some point. I think we'll go ahead and do some work on the tower next time. That could be cool, right? That could be cool. But that'll be for the next part. That's going to be the end for today. We've achieved our objectives of getting farming and animal husbandry going in a pretty but slightly functional way. Good. If you would like to see more and you're watching on YouTube, you can click the buttons on the screen right now. Check out the first video if you missed it. And if uh, the next video is already out, go check that out and everything else on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a nice, chill, relaxed experience. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.